Now let's move on to some word problems dealing with investments. Question is, James invested half of his money at 12%, one fourth at 8% and the rest at 6%. If the total annual income is $570, how much was invested altogether? So let's assume that total investment is X dollars. So let total investment be dollars X. Now see the ratio. It is half in 12%. So like this. Let's make this total. Let's say this is our X, right? And let's try to visualize. It says half of the money is in 12%. Let's say half of this. So this half here is 12%. Correct. Now say one fourth is at 8%. So let's divide it like this. So we have here 8%. One fourth. How much remains? One fourth remains. So that is also on one fourth is on 6%. That is the distribution of investment of X dollars and the annual income is dollar 570. So when we say income here, we are actually talking about interest. Interest earned on investment. Interest is given by P times R times T. P is the amount, principal amount invested, R is the time duration and T is the time. Where I is the interest, P is the principal, R is the rate of investment and T is the time. So here rate is given like this, P is our ratio of X amount and time is one year. So basically if we multiply X with rate we get investment right because T is 1. Now here in our case T is 1. So therefore interest earned is amount invested times rate and total investment earns $570. So let us now make an equation. If X is the total amount, then the amount invested on 12% is how much? Half of X. Amount invested on 8% is quarter of X and the remaining which is also quarter of X is invested at 6%. So now if you multiply 12% by x over 2 we get the income. Right? So let's write down income is what? So income. So total income will be x over 2 times 12%. 12% means 0 0.12. So x over 2 times 12%. 0 0.12 plus x over 4 times 8 percent 0 0.08 plus quarter of x which is x over 4 times 6 percent which is 0 0.06 so that is the total income now it is given to us that the total income is 570 dollars so we can write down here 570 dollars is equal to all this and now we can use calculator and figure it out. Let's divide this by 2 and we get what? 0.06x plus when you divide this by 4 you get 0.02x. When you divide this by 4 you get 0, 0.0 when you divide 1 times you get 215x. That is what you get. Now we can combine these quantities. That is 0 0.06 plus 0 0.02 plus 0 0.05. So we get 5 and 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 6 is 9. And 0, 0, 0 of x. This is what we get. And that is equals to 570. Now from here, what is x? 570 divided by 0 0.095 is equal to x. 
So we'll use calculator now and figure out what is the answer. 570 divided by 0 0.095. It gives us $6,000. So we get this equals to 6000 And therefore we find that the total invested amount was, we can write down the answer, invested amount equals to $6,000, right? So that is how you can solve these kinds of problems. Now let me get back to this formula once again. When we say interest is principal times rate times time and we know time is 1 since it was 1 year. Rate as I said here how did I get 0.12? Rate is 12%. So let me do this calculation here again to show you how we get. It is in a different ink. It is x over 2 of 12%. That means time 12%, 12 over 100. Now 12 over 100 is 0 0.12. Do you understand? Plus x over 4 of 8%. So it is times 8 over 100. Plus x over 4 times 6%. 6 over 100. Do you see that? Which is 0.06. This is 0.08. This is 0.12. Right? So we multiply principal amount. That is the principal amount. P. And the rate, which is given here, right? And we added them all. Times t, which is times 1, so we are not doing that, right? So this is simple interest, which is being earned on any investment, right? So some of you may not know this formula. It's good to understand. So we use simple interest formula to calculate the income. And then we have equated income given to us and income earned because of interest to finally get the value of x which is the total investment right so we get total investment as dollar six thousand i hope you understand thank you